Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Final Fantasy 7 Classic. Today, we're taking the elevator. Oh no, not the elevator. No, we need to take the elevator or else we could not make it up any further. I would hate this elevator because it's on the outside of the building. Even though it's probably just as safe as the one on the inside, the fact that you can look down and see the ground probably wouldn't make me horrified. If you need to, you can go back to the first floor and uh, maybe buy stuff if need be, I guess. I don't think you can leave the building. Oh, we gotta talk to these guys. I hope everything's all right. This is the real thing. Don't let your guard down. I mean, we really should have had more of a plan coming in here, but thankfully the guards are incompetent. I guess it would be kind of a boring job at some point, but at the same time, like, didn't they raise the alarms as soon as we got in here and started killing people? And these guys, I don't think we ever see these guys ever again. Your kind don't belong here. Go on, get out. Like, I don't... What are you doing here? Unauthor uh, unauthorized personnel aren't allowed here. Yeah, like, I don't think we have ever see those guys ever again. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. They kind of look like spoony bards. Look at all, all them guards running around. Cloud, you go on ahead and signal us when it's safe to move. I will do that. Now, this is a mini game. Mini games are fun. They can also be kind of annoying. You get like five attempts to do this, and if you fail all five attempts, you just kill all the soldiers in here, which is more my speed, I guess, and makes me wonder why we didn't do that in the first place. You get nothing, I think, as a reward for doing this correctly. Nothing at all, in fact. Actually, yeah. She probably just killed all these guys, huh? Now, this one's kind of a dick, because they run. Damn it, I went too fast. But yeah, I clearly meant to do that on purpose, to show you what happens when you fail. It's a pincer attack. This wasn't an accident at all, I swear. Now, these guys, again, not that big of a deal. Cross slash, kill them. May maybe they'll get Barrett's. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say maybe they'll get Barrett's uh, limit breakup. But no, they're gonna go off the cloud because he has a giant sword. Does a figure eight around Tifa. Again, not impressed. She is not impressed by your shit. What the hell are you doing? Man, you, uh, you gotta do it again. I know, I'm aware. But generally speaking, last time I did this, I wasn't speaking to myself in my bedroom. I was speaking to myself in my living room, but without recording software. Now, hopefully I don't mess this up too bad. And we can just go there. Oh, right, we gotta do the whole part again. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's right, so even if, no matter how far you are, you gotta do it from the beginning. I don't remember it being too, too bad. But it has been a while since I've done that, so hopefully I don't mess this up too. <laughs> It'll be kind of funny if I actually have to kill everyone. Oh, that'd be sad, actually. So, it's probably gonna happen, yeah? We'll wait for those guys to go the other way. There we go. Okay. Now, always take the first one where they're running in the opposite direction. God, I don't know how you did not see this giant man running. Also, this is a butch butt clencher. Like, seriously. I think we're good to go now. All right. See? First try. Okay, we got a rock. Remember, we're here to save Aerith. Hell, I know that. I just like the bear just be like, yeah, no no kidding. Jesus Christ. Why, why else are we here? Uh, who do we talk to? Is it you? Uh, where's Aerith? Yeah. Aerith, you mean that kid, the receptionist? I was starting to worry about her, too. Uh, some, uh, and so another rival appears on the scene, huh? You mean she's not? Is it someone else? Oh, wait. No, no, no. We do, uh, this one. Oh, I see. You must be you, what that that what you call it, Shinra in, in, uh, Inc. Repairs Division. 
You know, this building, building look, looks like it's starting to fall apart. This door just... Uh, this door was just pushed open. You gotta fix that right away. Oh, yeah, and take a look at the other floors, too. Here, take this. Thank you. Then you can talk to some of the people around here, and... They just mention stuff like, Hey, you need a key card to do everything. Um, the higher up, the harder it is, etc., etc. Something about a ruckus downstairs. A bunch of people dying. I wonder what that is. Not us. Yeah, I'm new. Yeah, I am cute. Uh, things? Aw. I mean... How about other things? I mean, I know how to use a key card, thanks. But it is good information to have. You were saying, like, 65, like, key card 65 only goes, only opens 65. However, it opens the ones below it as well. Alright, so this is a fun one. This is a puzzle. So, if we come talk to this guy, he'll be like, oh, who might you be? You must be those, uh -huh. me, I'm Domino, the mayor of Midgard. Now, actually, I'm a mayor in name only. The city and everything is really run by Shinrink. My only real job is watching over Shinra documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian, huh? You want to get this? I'll tell you what, if you can guess the password, I'll give you my key. Yeah, that's it. Guess the password and I'll give you my key. Get it on the first trial, even throw in some, throw in a special item. Yeah, so, that special item is super good. In order to actually figure out this password, password, you want to go to these, you know, these rooms with books in it, read the sign outside, so this is Peace, Preservation, and Weapon Development, and then in here, you want to read, uh, <laughs> you want to find the book that doesn't, actually uh, fit. So Modern History of Midyard Space Program is probably the one that doesn't fit. Which is kind of funny on the first try. Yes, Peacekeeping, Breakdown Soldier Class, Economic Report, Anti-Shinra, and Plan for New Land Weapons. So yeah, we come over to this one, Modern History of Midyard Space Program Volume 2. You want to count the letters in to the 17th letter and whatever that one is, is going to be part of the password. So we get M. Now I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to count off screen so I don't lose count. All right, well, either Kronos messed up this time or something's wrong. So you're supposed to include spaces in the counting of it. However, I'm pretty sure there's no F on the choice list that he gives you. There is an I, which is what you get if you don't, if you don't include spaces. Uh, diminishing Mako energy and planet movements. Field space programs. Midgar city maps. So this is four. So G. So, okay, it's not including spaces then. I thought for sure that it includes spaces, but I guess it doesn't. But I, if that's if it doesn't include spaces, then I already know the 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 answer to this. It will be king. Um, but we will see in a second. So what was that one? You always want to get all four of them just in case. Scientific research. So that is Dr. Guess, Mako Energy, ranks for weaponry, but that's... Hmm. That might be it. Yeah, it would be it to that. So four, which is K. Which is <laughs> king. Um, Shinra Urban Land Development. Let's see. So I'm assuming it's going to be N here. If it is N, then you don't include spaces. But I was always under the assumption that you included spaces. Oh, it's this one. Uh, six. So it would be N without, when you don't include spaces. So, yeah. It's king. Um... Even if we got two, like, the first one wrong, and, like, it was supposed to be, like, if you, I don't know. You see, this is the list you get. You always get this list. It's king. Yeah. King! God, I love the sound of that king. President Shira sucks. I should be king of Midgard. Hmm, well, okay, here, take it. We get keycard 65, and because we got it on the first try, we get the elemental materia, which is fantastic. It allows us to either add elements to our weapon, 
or add elements to our armor, allowing us to have damage on uh, elements cast upon us. So if we come here and be like, hey, elemental ice, bam, we are now having the damage from elements. Uh, that being said, the higher you go up, the stronger it gets. So right now, if we come in here, we get, we have ice. The next level, I believe it invalidates the element, meaning we take no damage. But if we get it up higher than that, it starts absorbing the element. And then when you master it, it causes the materia to duplicate. Um, actually, I don't think I ever talked about that. Yeah, when you master materia, it causes the materia to spawn its own materia. So that's how you get additional uh, materia of special materials that are very limited quantity, like elemental. There's only, I think, like three in the game, four maybe. Yeah, so if you want more than that, you need to max out the elemental materia and then, uh, you know, you'll get another one. Just double check and make sure I was in fact recording. Now, this floor and the next floor are completely optional. We don't actually have to do them, um, but we're going to so we can get some special items. And by special items, it means fairly good items that we can buy later in the game. Uh, we're a level B employee. That's how high they consider the mayor position, a level B employee. And he can only go up to level 65, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, because of that, we can actually unlock these doors using his card now three times. So we do this one. This one. Come down here. Grab this bad Larry, get an A coupon. And climb into the air duct, because this is safe. This is one of those situations where the controller can be kind of finicky and you can get turned around real easy in the air ducts. Thankfully, we're not here that long, um, but we want to go to that other air duct up there. Now, hopefully it just turns on a dime here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the, the movement in here, it's kind of like they designed it as an afterthought, right? Just something extra to do. Because it is. Uh, go down here and open this door. And there you go. All the coupons. Now we can use the air duct to get back to where we were, or back to the starting room, and uh, trade these in for some stuff. Uh, I believe we're going to get another all materia, which will be good. But I also think we get what? It's a... Uh... Oh, what the hell is it called? It's a... Uh... Floor slots. Armor. Uh... Coupon change. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, four slots, all materia. Now, definitely get the all materia. The four slots, not that great. It's something we could probably put on Barrett, maybe. Uh, all clear, thank you. And come down here. I mean, is it better? No, it's actually weaker. So yeah, it's it's good for magic defense, but not even that good. Uh, so yeah, we want to put on all here. Oh, we don't have steel on. Why don't we have steel? Oh, because I took off elemental. Never mind. That was, that was weird. Though I don't really care for actually like getting an extra steel materia or upgrading this one to mug. Um, mugs are right, though. I definitely prefer steel because you don't actually attack the target. Uh, yeah. So this is the gym. Thankfully, they allowed the, the mayor to actually use the gym. We're going to go ahead and try this out. And then we're not going to hit it. We don't want to hit it. So if you if you accident, if, not if you accident, if you talk to it again, it's like, do you want to hit the machine? You can. She'll just yell at you. And you can't really do anything for it. Let's go ahead and steal from all these lockers if we can. Thank you for the ether. Now, I don't know if you actually need to buy that thing from the, the vending machine for later. And I don't know if you need to view this for later as well. But yeah, there's a megaphone in there. It's kind of useless to hang on to. You're right. Who in the right mind would use a, a megaphone, right? So let's uh, give ourselves a little jog. Speed it up a little bit. Ah, cardio. Okay, I'm done. Can I get off? How do I get off? Actually, have no idea how I get off. Hello? Yeah, better quit. Thank you. 
I thought you could press the circle to get off of there. I, I guess. Hi, lady. Thanks. I must be a visitor, so that's why I'm on the 64, uh, 65th floor. Oh, yeah, there is a free rest point over here. Come in here and just take a nap. You know, Aerith is in danger. Better take a nap, right? We get a save point, finally. All right, now that we're all rested up, let's go up to the next floor. Uh, the next floor is where we actually have to solve something to progress past the uh, the locked door. This one's kind of weird. <laughs> so if you come in here, you'll notice that this giant display of Midgar is completely busted up, right? And there are a bunch of chests all throughout this floor that have parts of the Midgar in it. Uh, and we have to find them in the proper order. Now, it's this one, and then I think the next one's down there. I I'm doing this part mostly for memory, too, because it's, you know, just how it is. You do it so many times that you at least get a feel of where you actually have to go. So now that we've done that, we can come down here to, I believe, this one? Yeah. We can't get more than one at a time. There are enemies on this floor. And it's, uh, it's a hell of a puzzle, right? Pretty sure we put this one in, and then we go back to the first room. And then we go to the top one. Who is this bad Larry? This bad Larry is... Uh, where's my list? He's not on my list, but alright. He's, uh, the Hammer Blaster. Nice name. He's not that strong. He's... Use lightning on him if you really want, but I'm really not gonna cause too much damage. Well, not gonna speed things up more than just attacking him, right? Gonna cause you to waste some MP, and then that's about it. I'm pretty sure I just had Barrett attack e uh, Tifa, but thankfully that's not the problem. Uh, pretty crap experience for the most part. I'm pretty sure we want to go up here actually and get this one. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure the top room is for the last one. Well, not the last one. Not the last, last one, but the second to last one. You know, you could, if you're playing the console version, you could go ahead and put on no encounters. Yeah. That's not a bad idea, really. Though, I mean, the encounter rate's not that bad anyways. So we're just gonna kind of speed up through this area, because good lord. It is a fantastic puzzle. <laughs> Just a fantastic puzzle. And, apparently, they took a sledgehammer to, like, Sector 7 or something and just made that, uh, model valid. Alright, up we go. Yeah, who just leaves a keycard in a chest, right? I know. Dumb, right? Alright, so, you might have noticed that these bigwigs all came up here and sat down. We're gonna want to spy on them in a second. They have an executive meeting. <laughs> hey, when you're in the bathroom, do you ever hear whispers coming from somewhere? Now that you mention it, I do, but it's mostly my brain. But yeah, that's a clue to come in here and then clearly flush the toilet because some disgusting individual was like, I'm not going to flush, but then you climb on top of it and then you climb up here and you go into the air vent because this game loves air vents in this portion of the game. Controls can get a little bit funky in here too. Uh, but yeah, come down here and we'll uh, have a nice little spy session with these guys. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering the, those factories that were already set up and all the investments, the damage is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is, and restarting the Neo Midgard plan. The, and then the agents? The promised land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. Uh, rate height, rate height, tra -la, 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 la And please include our space program in the budget. Reeve and Scarlet will div divide the extra income in from the rate increase. Aw, oh, man. Uh, poor Palmer. Sir, if we raise the rates, the people will lose confidence. It will be all right. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence, they'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. 
After all, we're the ones who saved 6 or 7 from Avalanche. Saved my ass, dog. That dirty beep. Hojo, how's the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, if if fail uh if felna. If felna? If felna. Sure. But for now the difference is eighteen percent. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime, or in the lifetime of the specimen too, for that matter. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that would withstand our research for a long time. What about the promised land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong, yet has her weaknesses. What? The mother is strong, yet has her weaknesses. That concludes our meeting. Something stinks. Lovely individual, Scarlet. They were talking about Aerith, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow them. How the hell we all fit up here? Now you gotta press forward to go backward. I know. Or up to go backward. Because if you press down, then you're gonna go back to that screen. So now what we want to do is come over here and Hojo is going to go through that door. But the kind sir is actually going to leave the door open for us. But completely by accident, you're right. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is by accident. He's an old, forgetful, insane individual, so you'll have to forgive him for that. Now, before we do anything else, though, there are some enemies here that I want to encounter. There's another... There's the Moth Slashers now. They will start appearing. And Soldier's Third Class will also start appearing now. I remember him. That Hojo guy, he's in charge of the Shinra Sign Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've actually seen him, so that's what he looks like. Yeah, so we want to run around here. Or is it this floor or the floor above? It might be the floor above. Give me a second here. Is it the floor above? Ah, oh, crap, it's the floor above, isn't it? Okay, go up here. Then we should be able to get into battle with Soldier's Thirst Glass. Ah, uh, this is good. This is what I wanted. They can hurt a lot. But we want to steal a hard edge from them because uh, that is a super good weapon for Cloud. You only need one alive, so kill one. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're, uh, they're weak to fire, yeah. They can cast Ice 2 on you, so, uh, hey! Dope! That was super convenient. Two tries. Not three, but two. Let's go ahead with the Braver. And Barrett, I swear to God, you should be done with your level one Limit break. They have 250 HP. Hey, there you go. Finally learned that goddamn thing. So yeah, let's go get the uh, let's put the hard edge here. There you go. All right, let's go back down to this floor. And as you see, he left the door open. Good on him. Uh, we can go talk to some of these guys. Hi, how's it going? I guess they ignore us. I guess we can't talk to them. Okay. How about you? Nope. All right. <laughs> it's like, oh crap. Nowhere to hide. Is this today's specimen? Yes, we're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My precious specimen. Oh, 
God, look at his blocky, witch-like face. Reminds me of the, the bird ladies from Skyrim. Tifa, don't poke the glass. Tifa! Precious specimen? Is it going to be used for biological experiments? Stop antagonizing the, the poor lion thing. Genova? Now oh, those are some weird looking boobs. Tifa, how long are you going to poke the goddamn glass? Genova, Sethros. So, they brought it here. Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? S see what? It's moving. Still alive? Where's the beeping head? The whole thing's stupid. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Proper reaction, really, from Barrett. Um, I don't think we can say anything else. Can we look in here again? No, I like how the music just stops, too. All right, so there's a chest here. It has a poison material in it. We're not going to be able to use that to affect this anytime soon. However, can we actually do that? Hmm. I don't know if we can do that. So we defend against poison. Yeah, let's come here, unequip that, come here, and put that on. So, okay, so it just halves the poison damage. Okay. Doesn't actually, like, uh, make you immune to it, which would have been nice. We'll go ahead and put poison on him, just for funsies. And we'll put that star pendant back on. I'm gonna rearrange my... Actually, I don't think I need to rearrange my setup. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have my video section to check out some of the content see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash bonus plays, give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.